Hello everybody, I uh, recorded uh, today's episode, but now that I am, uh, you know, trying to edit things, I noticed that I somehow had muted my mic, so, uh, yeah, that was a bloody pain in the ass, so, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure <laughs> what to do about that, uh, I think I will just uh, cut out the things that, uh, that aren't real really important like we were exploring uh, most of the town this episode and uh, a, a lot of talking uh, basically uh, was a uh, what's it called <laughs> kind of wasted on us especially considering uh, we already have seen all, all of the conversations over in uh, in the first episode uh, we did get into some combat but uh, yeah but because most of all of my commentary is completely lost uh, here so uh, I'll keep this episode short where exactly are you at negative Topeka base disregard disregard it was a couple of coyotes false alarm uh okay chopper one and uh lay off those squeezes for a while all right mind if we stop in here I feel it a bit thirsty this place is like Mecca to me. It's where the squeezes come from. Work, isn't it? Well, 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 Falcon ranges to the finest bar in Topekan territory. I'm always happy to scream libations for the storied and heroic paladins of the desert. We are proud to always welcome in my establishment, provided they don't get no thirst for killing. Folks say rail nomad is divided between the Topicans and the Achamans. Don't I know it? He was a good man once, for an Atchison. But even then, he was stubborn. He was our leader, and one all the hobos and junkies and rail thieves that live around here always busting things up and not worth the spit it takes to curse them. Train robbers. Ah, oh, gosh, now that the train... No use for those losers. They don't... They make it up. They're my best customers. Until they're my worst. He's around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Down the end of the bar. We are. The golden spike happened a few years. It's the thing you didn't know. Used to be. Hey, they got a camp on the outskirts. Mm -hmm. Again. Rangers, I don't know nothing about it. Any idiot, I don't know anything, honest. You can ask any. I'm a traveling snake squeezing salesman. I buy wholesale from. He's a ranger, right? Don't know too much about him, but I did hear he was over in the Atchison camp doing some kind of investigation. Who? No, never heard of him. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, please don't hurt me, Rangers. Yes, I travel with Ace. It's always nice to have a Ranger for company on the road. Keeps the bad guys away, but but not this time. Something was hunting him, and it attacked him our second night out of Rail Nomad. Killed him, the poor guy. Oh, I almost forgot. I grabbed his logbook before I went looking for help. I found it in that thing's shoulder bag, and I took it. But I was gonna give it back the next time I came around to Ranger Citadel. Honest. Here, take it. I don't want it. I don't know what it was. It was horrible. It looked like a man, but it was made of plastic. And its eyes. Ugh, I still see them when I sleep. It was a terrible fight. That thing tore into Ace like a ripsaw. I fired a few shots at it, but it didn't pay any attention. It just kept hacking at Ace with these knives that came out of its body. Then when Ace wasn't moving anymore, 
It stole his pack and his case and started to crawl off with him. Well, it couldn't walk, could it? A shot one of its legs off. Didn't get far, neither. After a while, all the oil bled out of it, and it just lay there. Then the lights went out of its eyes, and it was gone. Thank you for not hitting me, Rangers. Around for everybody. Range, I mean, My friends are buying. work, isn't it? When man stops walking in nature, man grows weak. Greetings, Rangers. Welcome to the Quarex Arcade. Sure, go ahead. Ask me anything. That's my super scope. You aim it at the TV screen and fight. Not much you can do, unless you want to help fill up. Ooh, you guys are the... Oh. Well, okay, I don't pay much attention to that Atchison's and Topekan stuff. Everybody wants the trick. <laughs> Topekans, get it? P? <laughs> oh, he's our end boss. Hangs out with his mini-bosses at the town. They live in the other camp. That's the Topekan's to... Come again, anytime. saved the Parker boy from drowning. It is an honor to speak to such brave heroes. How can I help you? <sighs> I'll have one of my child. They are my personal guard. Men so loyal that they severed their left arm. Yes. To honor me, they are the cost of the rank. Do not think it makes them less dangerous. They can still kick your asses. The Atchison's greatest. It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two arms. I at once, the Atchison's and the Topekans worked together in harmony. Up until the break shoe is removed. Once we worked hand in hand with the Atchison's. We tended the trains, they tended the rails. It grieves me that we fight. They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. We haven't the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. The leader of the Atchison's. Once we are a peaceful people. Honest traders who once crossed the, the sacred golden spike. The first of our tribe, and they do not fight with honor. They s I normally don't approve of Topekans traveling with outsiders. But in this case, there is no loss to the tribe. Help with what? If you wish to help us with outside threats, then you are welcome. Our greatest threat at the moment is these rail thieves. Now that is the true spirit of the Desert Raiders. Protecting the wastes from lawless... They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them. How could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? The display case is locked, and my choppers are on guard at all times, and will attack anyone who attempts to take it. I've told you before, I'll keep out of our business, Rangers. Another visit, Rangers? Thank you. 
Uh, at this point, I already had uh, 45 minutes played, so in the interest of keeping the uh, episode a little bit about uh, 40, 40, 30 minutes, I, I knew that I had some points where I could cut some content, but uh, I expected to, to need like th th this much format to uh, keep the, uh, the episode at a half an hour mark. But uh, yeah, at that point, I didn't uh, realize that uh, I had muted myself, so. Yeah, uh, that uh, kind of sucks. Uh, unfortunately, we killed the rat with uh, when Scotchmo shot that uh, that uh, toad because I blew up a mine and blew up uh, the rat. So uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't catch that during the episode, but I did catch it out. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. My name is Demolius, and I'll see you guys next time.